Well, now we are down to the last 16 in the Emirates FA Cup, the fifth round stage. Well, both these teams have played really well to get to this point, and I'll be hoping to continue that form. And today, it's Manchester City, and they play Bournemouth. Here is the Manchester City one. Number one, Claudio Bravo. Number three, Danilo. Number four, Vincent Company. Number 15, Aliyepo Mandala. Manchester City's lineup today. Claudio Bravo starts in goal. Vincent Company starts alongside Eleki Mangala in the heart of defence. Alexander Zinchenko starts with Yaya Toure in central midfield. And today it's just a one striker in the side. And number 19, Leroy Sane. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. Junior Stanislas starts looking to recover his four. And they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. Manchester City looking to get some bounce back into their displays, really. They lost last time out away against Arsenal. Yeah, I didn't see it coming, that 3-1 defeat, I've got to say, because uh, they're better than that, and I think they'll show it today with a win. And now Bernardo Silva. Now Danilo. Manchester City delighted the referees let the play go on here despite the foul, good advantage. Yaya Toure, Benjamin Mendy, that's well worked by City here, and they're going forward with a real hint of menace about them, ball played to Mendy, here's Zinchenko, here's Yaya Toure, defender has to move quickly, Jermaine Defoe, Charlie Daniels. Attacking well here. Guided through. It's with Danilo. And now Bernardo Silva. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. And shoots! Easy save for Bravo. Here's Mangala. Alexander Zinchenko. Bernardo Silva. Well, if they're going to do well here at Manchester City, and obviously they hope they'll do well, he could make the difference. Well, sometimes you talk about not being able to coach a quality, and I think his finishing ability is one such thing because uh, he just does it naturally. Vincent Company. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Yaya Toure. Now Danilo. Gabriel Jesus. Bernardo Silva. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. Decided that this time they're going to play the short corner. Now he's looking for support. Defended well. A chance to break away now on the counter. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Now this is an interesting attack. Now Danilo. Eliakim Mangala. Ball played to Mendy. Little private game between the two of them. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. 
promising build-up until that challenge. It's Jermaine Defoe, neatly intercepted. Toure. He's given possession away here. Now this looks promising. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. It's Jermaine Defoe. Mendy. Bernardo Silva. Was good progress with this attack. Ball played to Mendy. Toure. Yaya Toure. Comes in with a tackle. Josh King. But when he's at his best, Yaya Toure, he can boss any game. He can, and he's fit. You can see that out there. Bernardo Silva. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Didn't want the referee to blow his whistle, and he hasn't. So often you see it. It's a bad tackle, and he blows straight away, but the advantage is played. Yaya Toure. Mendy. Yaya Toure. With Danilo, he's got support here. Here's Zinchenko, Gabriel Jesus challenges for the ball. Here's Yaya Toure, Alexander Zinchenko, it's King trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Easy work for the keeper here. Toure. Toure. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. And now he's looking for some support. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Looking to get the ball forward here. Manchester City. Aranguis. Jermaine Defoe. Charlie Daniels. Looking for teammates in the middle. Mendy. Yaya Toure. It's with Toure. Now company. Bernardo Silva. Here's Zinchenko. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Aranguis. Guiding the pass through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. A real miscue here. Nice interplay between the two of them. On the attack here. Yaya Toure. It's Bernardo Silva. It's with Danilo. Some options now for the pass. 
Here's Zinchenko. Now Danilo. Bernardo Silva. On to Gabriel Jesus. Roberts. And the offside. Stops the play. Flag went up. Referee blue. Stanislas Josh King could be a chance here they've got the ball into a good area played in the clear able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement now Danilo oh, he's lost the ball well, that'll be a throw Junior Stanislas Sermon. Completely intercepted. On to the attack now. Trying to lift it over the nearest defender and he couldn't. Josh King. Here's Defoe. Eliakim Mangala. Sermon. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. I can't remember the last time I saw him give the ball away as much as this. Two minutes left, that's added time. Two minutes of added time. Charlie Daniels. Promising build up until that challenge. Cook. Aranguis. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. There's no question here that we're going to have extreme emotions at the end of the game, but at half time. for Manchester City coming off the pitch number 42 number two. so the second half now the ball is rolling in this fifth round tie in the Emirates FA Cup yeah the first half was played at a good tempo good pace and you'd expect that to continue in the second half here's Zinchenko Sermon Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. He's regained possession and just kept the ball in play. Eliakim Mangala. Kevin De Bruyne. It's looking good, this move. start again with a goal kick well you can score a goal at any point in a game he hasn't really looked like scoring any so far has he he'll be hoping for better as the match develops well he's gone into good positions but I don't know whether his confidence is low he's had some opportunities to test the keeper maybe put his team ahead but it hasn't happened Aranguis and King threading it through I like the look of this attack. Oh. 
Sermon. Here's Defoe. Sermon. Charlie Daniels. Well, then it goes. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Now Danilo. Pressure is on. He is managing to keep the ball. He's got a bit of support if he needs it. Alexander Zinchenko. And the ball played to Mendy. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Arangis. of options for him from the free kick whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up and Manchester City pick up a yellow here yeah and it was a silly challenge missed Stanislas. Free kick given by the referee. And the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. Mendy. It's Bernardo Silva. with Danilo. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Miscued really with the header. Yeah, not known for his heading and you can see why there with that effort. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture, Manchester City, they'll be hosting Chelsea. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the country for it with good vision, real chance, in really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear, I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Mendy. And now Bernardo Silva. The ball played to Mendy. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Junior Stanislas. What about Bournemouth's next game? They're playing Leicester City in their next match. I think they'll be fine. I think they'll, uh, they'll win it easily. Now Danilo. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Here's Zinchenko. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception no reason to stop the game for the referee then and he's read the play well into the attacking third and they've cut it out Kevin De Bruyne now Danilo Great defending there, stopping that attack. Arangis. Here's Defoe. Sermon. Went in a bit crudely, but the referee saw it and uh, decided not to stop the game because they've still got the ball. Kevin De Bruyne. Benjamin Mendy. 
could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Brother! Oh, I could have made more of that, but it's only a goal kick. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed this punishment. He's going to show a card now, but he wanted that. previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion yeah he is one of our more experienced refs isn't he and uh, I like watching him go about his work and showed his experience there come out for a throw it Benjamin Mendy Mendy. Here's Mangala. Nice interplay between the two of them. Now, company. Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Now by the Manchester City player. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Not real. Cardio Bravo with a save that doesn't trouble him. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Mendy. That's a lovely piece of skill. Attacking now. Into the box it goes, along the ground. Cleared away, well away from goal. Kevin De Bruyne. It's Aguero. He's got a chance to cross. It's De Bruyne. Now Danilo. Lero Sane. Promising build up until that challenge. Mendy. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. One it has to clear it. That's our company. And he gives it back to it. Here's Roberts. And here they are on the attack with Danilo. It's a company. Patient approach from Manchester City. Oh, it's still goalless here, not much time left. What about their next game, Alan? Well, Manchester City go up against Chelsea. They've been pretty poor today, let's face it. They will need to improve on it. Aguero. Aguero. On to Sergio Aguero. Probably right up there, isn't it, Alan? Right here? Yeah, when the defence is pushing up and the players rushing through, it's such a difficult decision, but it's a good one in this case. Hugh. 
they use the forward in these positions, dropping deep, he lays it off and they play from there. Wonderful chance! Don't you just love football? Late drama, and now they have the lead. Well, no better time, I don't think there's any way back now for the opposition, that looks like the winner. In many ways, this is the great appeal of the game. A team that's given little chance could win, as surely they've done, with this late goal. Yeah, and I think every single individual has played at the maximum, as opposed to the opposition who haven't been at it. So the first goal, it's 1-0. It's Aguero. That could have been the pass to determine the match, really. It's not looking good for Manchester City in these circumstances. The supporters, though, here in such great numbers, are really trying to add something to the situation and help them. Yeah, I've been here a few times when the atmosphere has been lacking, but the Etihad is jumping today. And the goalkeeper telling his teammates to get forward. Man of the match, number 22, Benjamin Play forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Sergio Aguero. Neatly intercepted. Yeah, Referee's had a good look and decided on his scene from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Roberts. Very difficult for Manchester City, trying to break down this mass defence to get an equaliser this late on. Leroy Sane. The shot's off! Good work by the goalkeeper. <laughs> Getting forward well as a team now. Good run towards the near post. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. And the referee blows the whistle for the last time. In the end, the prevailing mood is almost despair, really. Yeah, you want to produce when it comes to the showpiece events like this, and most of these lads, in fairness, didn't hit the heights today. Well, he's in his 30s now, but he's still bright as a button, Jermaine Defoe. He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal.